So, David, thank you for being here at DOEG TV. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about Apex 5.0. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell a bit uh, about the major features coming up with it? One of the biggest features coming with 5.0, obviously, is the page designer. Um, that's part of our, um, one of our core concepts for 5.0 was improving developer productivity. And I think that um, that will go a long way to making it far more productive for developers to be able to build pages and components on those pages. Uh, there's a lot of great things that we're building into that to make it uh, very, uh, very productive. There's also things such as modal dialogues, um, a new multi-region edit area, which will lead to things such as master detail detail capabilities. We're enhancing interactive reports even further. Uh, things such as pivots and and uh, various other um, components in there. So, David, what are your personal favorites in Apex 5.0? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, you know, everyone's going to love Page Designer. Um, I think it's got some, you know, it's just going to revolutionise things. But my personal favourite, um, I would say, is is what we're doing with some of the themes, the universal theme. Um, th rather than having to go in and change all of the templates and, you know, do a lot of HTML, instead what you're going to be able to do is just provide a new CSS file that, mm -hmm. that will revolutionise uh, and uh, the ability to create your custom look and feel and make it much more accessible to have um, different skins, if you like, of your applications. Okay, that's good. Can you tell us a little bit more about the lesser known features that are coming up with Apex 5.0? No. No, okay. In all seriousness, I can tell you about some of them. Um, I'm trying to think of what some of the lesser known ones are. We always have a collection of, of different features that we put in. Some of them come from uh, feature requests application, come from you know, us talking to our community in various different ways. Um, w you know, there's things like the um, we're looking to incorporate um, different security, um, uh, sorry, the ability to define different auth authentications mm -hmm. for the application builder. Um, that one's one we haven't been talking about a lot. Uh, we're actually running that ourselves in development right now, and it's great. You can, instead of having to log out of one workspace and log into another one, I can just simply go to a select list and pick whichever workspace I want. Um, cool. And you know, it's some of those little things that that may not seem that big, but but are often game changers in um, flexibility and and capabilities within the tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds really good. I'm really looking forward to the next version. Um, when talking about uh, the existing tabular form in, in 4.2, in, in 5.0 there's a new component coming up uh, in Grid Edit. Uh, are people going to be able to migrate their existing tabular form to a Grid Edit component? So, we, um, they're not going to be the same region type, in much the same way as SQL reports, interactive reports of, are two very different um, regions. As far as exactly what capabilities we will give, then if you've got a standard tabular form and you haven't utilized Apex items, and um, then you know the we're looking to provide a um, a similar sort of wizard we did with with the old uh, classic reports where you could yeah. convert them to an interactive report. We're looking to do a similar thing for the tabular forms to our new multi-row edit form, and you know most of uh, tabular forms should be able to come up pretty quickly. By the same token, it's very quick and easy to build a new region uh, yeah. based, based on your SQL anyway. So it's, it's not the end of the world even if you can't you know, use whatever we provide. Yeah. So now my favorite question, what will be the release date of Apex 5.0? Well, the release date will be calendar year 2014. Unfortunately, that's as good a date as I can give. Okay. Um, I'm actually uh, constrained by uh, Oracle's revenue, re revenue recognition policies, and, and that's as good as we can give. So maybe the, the early adopter release, is, is that going to happen? Yes, um, we've got an early adopter planned uh, for early 2014, and um, it will be available to basically anyone in the public can sign up for a workspace. Um, there's some things we've been talking about recently where we might try and uh, help people out to be able to test um, their applications and things like that, but more will come closer to the time. Okay. We want to keep some things as a bit of a surprise. 
Well, thank you for being here, David. Well, thank you very much for having me. I've enjoyed being here. Thank you.